Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is currently a rainy day here in California while we are on quarantine and for today's video I just wanted to sit down and play with makeup and we're going to be doing something that we actually have not done in quite a long time now and that is a makeup challenge. Now a few weeks ago I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw a really really cool video of this woman applying her makeup using an airbrush machine. Now if you don't know what an airbrush machine is, it is this baby right here. Basically you pour in little drops right into the top and then you turn it on and then you spray your makeup out onto the face. So airbrush makeup is actually not something that is really new to the beauty world. It is most commonly used on movie sets and special effects makeup, horror films, but it is really not a technique that has made its way into like the typical mainstream beauty universe. And that is because if you don't know what you're doing, it is very, very hard. So although it's not new to the makeup world, it is new to me. And for today's video, I wanted to try out doing a full face of makeup using only airbrush machines. Now, I want to be honest with you guys and tell you that today is my fourth fourth time trying to film this video. So usually I do my makeup challenges and you know, it's a little bit of a bumpy road, but in the end, it usually comes together. For this particular video, however, it was not doing that. It was literally melting all over my face. It was splotchy. I could not get it to look good. And I just did not understand why I was getting so ridiculously angry. But then I realized, okay, this is the makeup challenge. Obviously I cannot be good at everything. And instead of just giving up and moving on, I wanted to give this video one last shot. So I did some research, watched some videos, called in some backup and we're gonna try this one last time. So if you guys wanna watch me do a full face of airbrush makeup, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, before we jump in, I want to give two super quick shout outs. The first one being to the brand Tempdu. They are an airbrush company and they heard that I was doing this video. So they sent me over a full package of goodies since all the makeup stores are closed during quarantine. This video is not sponsored, okay? I'm not being paid to say anything. I do have some products from other brands as well, but I do want to say a major thank you to them. And the second shout out is to a channel here on YouTube by the username of Airbrush MUA by Z. She is so incredible and she does full videos on her channel using airbrush makeup. When I was failing so many times, I left a comment on her video, not knowing if she was gonna see it or not. And she literally sat on FaceTime with me for hours teaching me the proper techniques and showing me what I was doing wrong. She even sent over some of her personal colors and machines for me to use to try out for today's video. So she is literally an angel. She saved this video. Okay, you guys, so I want you to go check out her channel. Without further ado, okay? Let's get started. So normally you guys know with my makeup routine, I start off with my foundation first and then go into like brows, eyes, and the whole shebang. For airbrush makeup, we're actually gonna do it in the opposite order, starting with brows and eyes first, because if I mess it up, which I very well might, it'll be easier to clean up instead of having to do like the entire face over. That being said, let's go ahead and grab our first color, which is going to be, you know, dark brown for our brows. Okay, we're gonna do three drops. Okay, so now see if we go like this. There it is. Oh my God, fun. With airbrush, you can obviously just like go in and spray, which we'll get to later on. But for more specific details, it comes with a lot of these really cool stencils, which help you get like more accurate lines and shapes and stuff. So I'm gonna grab this fun little brow stencil and we're just gonna go right in. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and I'm just gonna spray. Hold this back and we're just gonna go right in. Oh, mm, that looks terrible. <laughs> oh no. It's okay, nobody saw that we're gonna try again. There we go. Okay, yes, that looks great. Great, 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 great. Now I'm gonna try to do my arch. Yes, oh my God, yes! Okay, now I'm gonna do my tail and I'm just gonna pull that in there and fill it in. Oh, gorgeous, oh my God! Okay, work. I'd like to thank not only God, but also Jesus. Oops, that was maybe a little bit too much. Well, shoot. Hmm. Should I start over? Starting over, attempt number three. Oh, this is so hard. Perfect, oh my God, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oops, that looks cute. She's chic, she's here, she's ready to party. So now we're gonna clean off our stencil because now it's all dirty. And we're gonna do brow number two. Okay, so I wanna make sure that these are even, obviously. Oh my God, per Did I just snap? Yes, oh my God, woo! Okay, I'm happy with them. They could of course be a little bit better, but after trying this four different times, I am very happy with these. These are by far the best that I've done and I just wanna move on while we have them. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyeshadow portion already. Kind of Fun, right? Okay, I'm really excited for the eyeshadow portion because the last few times that I've tried this, it wasn't the skin that I was messing up on. I actually really enjoyed it. It was the eyeshadow portion because I literally could not get the colors to layer on and they were melting. They were getting in my eyeballs and my contacts. It was not good. But I picked up a lot of different techniques from Z that I'm gonna try out today. 
right? So hopefully this will work a whole lot better. So I'm gonna hold my stencil back up to my skin once again because I don't wanna get any of this color on my actual brow that we just, you know, worked so hard on. But I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this nice vanilla color on my brow bone to brighten it up. There we go! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am oh. This excitement probably seems so lame, but you guys, after trying this so many times, <laughs> I'm so happy! Same thing on the other eyeball. Perfect. I'm gonna layer just a little bit on my actual eyelids as well. I have really veiny eyelids and also like dark areas right in this inner corner for some reason. So putting on a light wash will just kind of neutralize that. So for my look today, I wanna do something pretty, but nothing too colorful because that takes a lot of practice. I'm actually gonna grab this nice little shimmery bronze shade first to go on my lid. Very weird. I'm gonna use my stencil just to avoid getting it on my face. Oh my God, pretty! Okay, there we go! You guys know that I always do one eye on camera and then one eye off. You can't work that way with airbrush either. You have to do both eyes at the same time to keep your colors consistent, to not have to clean the gun a million times. So, you're in for a treat today. <laughs> same thing on this eyeball. So for our next color, we're now gonna grab a burnt orange shade. So we're gonna do our crease color now. This order is so strange. And this, we're gonna be very careful with because we need to layer this up. I'm just gonna start layering this in the outer corner and then just pulling this shade up into the crease. Oh my God, pretty. Liking this so far, this is looking good. Okay, so now I wanna darken up my outer corner a little bit. So I'm gonna grab some dark brown and I'm gonna add in a few drops into the machine. And then I'm just going to, what's called a back bubbling. Look at me, I'm gonna yeah, 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 yeah. Press it in there and then mix the colors together. Some nice bubbling happening in there. Okay, layer this into the outer V. <gasps> This is a million times more fun than regular eyeshadow. Are you kidding? So now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of my orange color, just to bring some of it back. Wow, this eye is really giving it to me right now. Work. This is like everything that I needed and more. She, on the other hand, is not the best. Ow, my feelings. I wanna add back a little bit of that shimmer color since it got lost in the blending. This is what's good about airbrush too, is that you can layer everything together. That's pretty. Oh, wow, that's pretty! Oh my God! Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited. All right, you guys, so now we get to the part of this look that could very well ruin it or tie it up together, and that is going to be the eyeliner. Now, if you are like me, you're probably thinking, how are you gonna do eyeliner with airbrush? And you know, I'm gonna show you. I thought that this would have never been possible, but then I saw Airbrush by Z's video where she just, you know, went right in. Surprisingly, you can actually get a very detailed line with this, but we're still gonna use our stencil. <laughs> we're gonna try this out and pray that this is not what takes us down because we're doing so good so far. I'm gonna start in the middle of the lid. Oh my God, yes! Oh my God! And then for this area, we're going to continue with the same shade that we've been doing. And we're going to use this to darken up very lightly. Oh my God. <laughs> Eyeliner with airbrush. Who would have thought it would be possible? Not me, I'll tell you that right now. Let's try this again on the other eye. Perfect. I think I'm happy with that. I don't think I want to go any further. Okay, you guys, so that is pretty much the eyeshadow portion of this look all complete. Of course, we're gonna add on the brow bone highlight and lashes a little bit later on to the look just because I don't want to mess anything up. But before we go on to the foundation, I'm gonna quickly take just a makeup wipe and we're gonna clean up this bottom edge. That looks gorgeous. Okay, same thing on this side. I know that I was getting so excited and literally screaming throughout this entire portion, but after so many tries, okay, it feels really good to just get something that actually looks presentable on the eyes. I feel like I'm finally succeeding at this makeup challenge and now it is time to move on to our next step, which is going to be foundation. So it should be a little bit of smoother sailing from here on. All right, so now it is time for our foundation and I have two colors here that I'm going to mix together. Foundation is definitely what I'm most excited about and also like what airbrush makeup is kind of most commonly used for, especially with like weddings, because because obviously you're supposed to look like airbrushed and it just like looks flawless all blended together. So I'm really pumped for this step. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of my straight edge stencils so I can do this portion of foundation without actually messing up any of the eye work that we just did. Wow, I really, really am obsessed with how this coverage looks. It's very much like your skin, but better type of eye. Ew. <laughs> You can still see my freckles and beauty marks poking through, which personally, I really love. Like, do I need to do my foundation with airbrush all the time? Like, are you kidding? Okay, let's do my neck too. <laughs> okay, I think our foundation's done. Now it's time to contour. I'm gonna grab a few drops of this color called Hazelnut. Z told me to hold this really, really far away, which is exactly what I'm going to do. That's a little bit dark. Okay, we're not gonna panic, we're, we're not gonna panic. Oh, that, okay, why is, wow, this is my bad side, but this one's coming out so much better today, okay. Okay, a little harsh. Oh God, this ba looks bad. We're gonna layer some foundation back over top of that. 
Oh, this just looks gray now. What do I do? Should I just wipe off this area though? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay. Okay. okay, that definitely helped. Oh wow. Oh no, my liner's gray though! One second, I'm gonna cut cameras for a minute, get back to where I was, then we're gonna recontour. I'll be back. Okay, hello, we are back. I touched up the foundation, got the eyeliner back to where it was. We're gonna try to contour it once again, and this time I'm gonna literally hold this 8,000 miles away. Okay, that's not that bad. I feel like with bronzer and blush over top of it, it'll look, it'll like come together. Now it is time for blush. I'm really hoping that this will like pull together the contour a little bit. I'm gonna start on my right hand side, which apparently today is a better side. That looks beautiful. Now to this side. Oh, I forgot to nose contour. Oh, that's scary. My big ass nose. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. Ah! I can't even believe I'm saying that. Okay, no nose contour on the highlight. Let's go. This is the final stretch, you guys. <laughs> We're doing good. Let me add a little bit on the brow bones. Should I try to do my inner corners or is that like risking it? That's good, okay. Oh my god! Oh my god, you guys! Well, I think at this point we can turn off our airbrush machine because we're done. But we do have two last steps to do, which is going to be just, of course, the eyelashes and then the lips. <sighs> All right, you guys. Well, finally, after three attempts, it looks like four times is the charm for once because that is this full face using only airbrush makeup all complete. I am so <laughs> incredibly happy and proud with how this look turned out today. It is not perfect in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I'm not claiming it to be, but in comparison to the other three times, Times that I filmed this, okay? This looks amazing and I am so, so happy with it. I wanna say it once again, a major, major thank you to Airbrush MUA by Z. She literally saved this video. Okay, this would not have happened if it were not for her. Oh my God, do I wanna FaceTime her and show her this look? And is it, is it that good? See, I did it, I did it. Oh my God, let me see. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Does it look good? You can be honest. Usually people do not get it this good on the first time. <laughs> Oh my god! So good. I loved it. Thank you for your videos and thank you for being such a good teacher. I appreciate it so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, you did such a great, great, great job. Oh, thank you. See, you're the absolute best. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Bye. All right, you guys. Well, it looks like we have officially been airbrush approved by the pro. I definitely want to practice so much more because I feel like this could be such a fun way to apply makeup. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Would you ever try out airbrush makeup? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your love and support. It helps me out a lot. And also make sure you click that bigger subscribe button down below and come join this sisterhood. We are almost 18 million sisters strong and I would love to have you in the family. And also click that bell icon so you get notification every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, all just James Charles. My Snapchat for more behind the scenes side stuff is James Charles, the next S after Charles. And my phone number if you want to text me for any fun updates on videos, merch, and so much more. My number is 310-905-8746. This video's sister shout out goes to sister Michaela. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be in the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my filming links when they go live on Twitter. All right, you guys, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that my new show, Instant Influencer, will be streaming free starting April 24th right here on my YouTube channel. Some nice quarantine content. I love you. Stay safe, stay home, wash your hands, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.